we can only be competitive if we facilitate our local investors and our industries to grow and produce for that market and also to ensure that they have ease in cross-border trade. And so the Ministry of Trade and Industrialization, working together with all our nearly 20 uh, SAGAs, uh, semi-autonomous government agencies, are there to ensure that this happens, whether it's through Kenya Investment Authority or the Kenya Bureau of Standards or Anti Counterfeit Authority or even our sister organizations like the Kenya Revenue Authority, and that we give the right climate and condition for our investors to do business without feeling unfairly targeted in, in, in this regard. And that's what we are here to do. I believe that, we actually believe that the truth is in the Gemba where the action is. And really seeing and believing and saying, what do we do? The policies of Kenya are totally pro. The big four is very clear. There's no doubt about it. We have no hesitation to say the policies are good. The implementation is good. All we need to do is sort out a few hurdles that we have. And those hurdles are always going to be there. And I think this is something that we need to really discuss, dialogue, and jointly find uh, solutions to because they're not big. They can be done by policy. They, it's not very difficult to sort out. And that's what a lot of manufacturing really can do well. We are excited with the ACFTA, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, coming in January. Uh, and right now we have opportunities. The EAC now with Tanzania frankly opening up uh, to, to Kenyan products. The rapport between the two heads of state and the governments are good. Therefore, even Burundi, same thing. I think that's important to say that the whole of East Africa now can become so much more better, one market. So our visit here is to ensure one, that Bitco upholds our standards, our local standards are set. And we are impressed by what we have seen that they have adhered to the, all the local and global standards of production. Their certification is therefore well merited. And secondly, to identify where there may be gaps and need for assistance by government. And I am proud to say that we, wherever we have noted there are challenges, we will pick them up. But in the whole, this has been a great tour. We are proud of this brand and many others that are doing a similar kind of thing. And for this massive investment that employs you know, hundreds of our young people and, and various cadre of our skill staff. I would encourage every government officer, every people in, everybody in power to come visit the factories and see for themselves, is it compliant, is it not compliant, what else can we do and really ramp it up because it's all about public-private partnership and really working together. So again, not only us, but also even the small guys. All we need to do is, as private sector, articulate our issues far better and point out really where the flaws are. And if we have some flaws, point them out too. But at the same time, let's work in harmony.